A car weighing 130 kilonewtons, when fully loaded, is, full, is pulled slowly up a steep inclined track by a steel cable. See the figure. The cable has an effective cross-sectional area of 490 mm square millimeter, and the angle alpha of the inclined is, the incline is 30 degrees. A calculate the tensile stress in the cable. B. If the allowable stress in the cable is 150 megapascal, what is the maximum acceptable angle of the incline for a fully loaded car? Okay. So first of all, let's draw a free body diagram. So as as they stated, this is pulling up the cable, pulling this up. So I call it T. Okay, and this has weight of 130 kilo newton. Okay, the angle is alpha. All right. So uh, I also have a free body diagram down drawn down here, but it's a little bit messy and confusing. So ignore this one. Okay. So you have only uh, a weight one thirty kilo newton, the tension force of the cable, which is T. Okay. In this force, the down force, you can rewrite it in a XY component. So in the X, let me do it up here if you, so that you don't get confused. So this down force, this is the weight of the, the fully loaded drag. So in the Y direction, in the X direction. So as you can see, this angle is alpha. So which one is that angle? This one or that one? Well, here's a trick. If you don't know how to consider the angle, the incline angle, here's here's what I use. Or here's what I often, what I usually do. Okay. So, let me do it sign here. Okay. So you have down one thirty. You have a uh, T. Okay. This angle is alpha okay so if you draw a horizontal line parallel to this line this angle is also alpha okay and then this is in the y direction this is in the x direction okay so if this is alpha this is perpendicular to this one so this angle must be 90 okay this angle is 90 and you know this angle is alpha, so this angle has to be 90 minus alpha, okay? And since this angle over here, because this is a straight line, so it's, it, the, sum of, uh, the angle is 180. This half part over here is also 90, because it's already 90. So this angle must be alpha, okay? So to sum up, what you remember, what you need to remember is you have angle alpha right here. You draw a horizontal line parallel to this line. So that angle is also alpha. And you draw a Y component perpendicular to this one. So you have alpha 90 minus alpha and then alpha 90 minus alpha. Okay, that's how you consider which one is alpha, which, which angle is, is, is what. Okay, so in this case, you have this one is alpha. So it's just the same as this one. All right, angle of this one, this form a triangle again. Let me use it over here. Form a triangle. So the y direction is equal to 130 times cosine. I don't know if you can see it, 130 times cosine alpha. And this has to be 130 cos. Uh, if this side, then this has to be. If this cosine, this has to be sine. Sine alpha. Okay. Hope that makes sense. All right. So this is uh, the force in the y direction, the force in the x direction. Now let's let's do the summation about the x direction. So I assume this is the x direction. This is the y direction. Okay. So if you cannot see, you can turn the page like this, and then you can see it very clearly okay now some all the forces in the x direction they have negative fx 
plus t equals zero. Okay, then solve for t, I got uh, 65,000 newtons. Now the stress in the tension in the cable is equal to the, f the, f the force in the cable divided by the area of the cable. So the area of the cable is given as 490 square millimeter. The uh, tension, the force in the, t in the cable is, which is what we just found, 65,000 newton. So doing ca calculation, I got 132.7 newton per mil square millimeter. And that is the same as, so I route this to get three decimal places. So I got 133, and if you don't know, one newton per mil square millimeter is the same as one megapascal, okay? So this is very useful in engineering because we use millimeter a lot instead of meter. So this is a convention and it's better to know it. Now for part B. Now let's move on part B. So part B is asking us to find the maximum angle, which is this angle, the inclined angle. So we just do the opposite, what we just did for part A, okay? So in part A, we go, we went from finding the tension force and then the compressive stress. Now we just go the opposite way. So finally determine the tension force in the cable and then find the angle, okay? So that's a strategy. Now let's work it. Now let's work through it. So you are given the allowable stress is equal to 150. Okay, let me do the formula first. So the stress, the normal stress is equal to the force divided by the area. So when you solve for T, I got a uh, normal stress times area. And you are given the allowable stress is 150 newton per square meter, millimeter. The area is also given as 490 square millimeter. So doing this calculation, you get you will get 73 thousand five hundred newtons and then some summation of the forces in the x direction equals zero that gives me negative one thirty thousand times psi alpha plus the tension force was seventy three thousand five hundred then solve for alpha you will get thirty four point four degrees so the maximum angle is 34.4 degrees. Okay, hope that makes sense. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.